All right. So I'm out here today doing some planting. It's been about a week. Now I got some some garlic coming up here. Got one here. A few here. Then you come up to this big one. One I got garlic and onion. Garlic, 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 garlic. It's going to be a good year for garlic here. We're going to do some planting of those today. Lemon balm is starting to come in pretty good. Plant all those today. Got mint starting to pop up. Got mint all. It's going to be a good year for mint, I'll tell you that. Starting to come up. Oh, English time, German time, oregano, Oops. rosemary. Forgot what those are. All right, just a quick little gardening video today. It's getting hot here, West Virginia, so I'm going to start planting all my peppers and tomatoes. And I got 16 five gallon buckets filled with uh, dirt from last year. So I took off the top layers, took out the plants that were here last year, going to put in the new plants, dig a hole, and then I got some potting mix, I'll fill up the top of these, water them down. So like I said, took off the top mix last, uh, in the fall time. So really, these are already set. If you uh, don't have much of a budget to get planters and stuff, uh, five gallon buckets work really well. Got to remember to drill some holes in the bottom. Put uh, some gravel, rock, down at the bottom to help help it drain out. Then you just fill it up with potting mix. I got potting mix. Topsoil. Um, peat moss. And there was something else. Hummus? I don't remember. Pumice. I don't, I don't remember. I mixed them all up. So what I originally had in here were tomatoes and jalapenos were in the blue ones. Tomatoes were white and red. Regular peppers were some of the other white ones. So this year I got rainbow peppers from Seed Company and they sent me a bunch of other ones. Um, samples. So I have no idea exactly what these are. I know they're peppers, some are tomatoes. Then I got some other tomato plants that I bought myself from seeds. So we'll put those in. But uh, got set up so that the, the white ones are going to be tomatoes, and the blue ones are going to be peppers, and the red ones are going to be whatever else is left over. So, white one. Got this little tomato plant started from seed. Uh, just peel that down. Nope. Oh, the roots sort of spread out a bit. That. Now, when you you plant your stuff, you don't want it to plant just like a little bit. The roots just a small bit under the soil. You want it to be down quite a bit. Um, this helps it so it's not keeps the bottom of the stem strong, keeps the roots more room down to push down and up if need be. So basically, I got it like that. I'm gonna add some miracle grow, just the potting mix, nothing fancy. I'm not even gonna add all that much, just enough to give it cover up the top here, give it some more nutrients. Don't need to pat it down too much. Maybe one more handful here. There you go. I mean, really, there's nothing hard to it. I'm gonna put a tomato cage over the top because I know it is a tomato. So, you got tomato cage. I'll straighten out these legs a bit here. Push them down. Now, as the tomato grows, it'll get caught up 
in the uh, it'll be confined to inside the cage so it can't be going all wild and basically the tomato cage just keeps it all in and it prevents the stems from breaking off that's it that whole setup right there probably cost all five bucks the tomato plant peppers put peppers in cages as well use it for bees uh, oh, sp speaking of a bee got a bee right here there's a wasp it was a wasp uh, you can put peas at the bottom of it down there right around the right around the base and allow them to grow up the feet the legs of it cling all the way to the top and get peas as well so I'm going to uh, do the rest of these and uh, show you when I'm done all right so I finished up my uh, planting two days ago had to go back to the store and get some uh, soil but uh, alright so here these two are uh, lemon balm from last year this is my packet of look at the size of that seed that right there is a uh, pawpaw seed and then I planted these garlic all like nine days ago look at these look at that already coming up everywhere I counted them this morning all these little garlics all in here I got onions mixed in there onions mixed up there the garlic alone I have like 46 of them so that's good then we got down here we got the uh, the Greek oregano that overwintered fantastic fantastic rosemary hey, it's doing okay doing okay <coughs> Got uh, German thyme. This over one fairly well. English thyme, same thing. No idea. See my mint. I put in an extra half inch or so of soil dirt up on top, and all the mint is starting to pop through. Look at that. Look at that. Which is fantastic for me because I like to make the mint into my tea. So we got a ton of mint. Then when I was done planting, <coughs> I had this pot left over. And I was at Lowe's and they had a chocolate mint plant. So I'm gonna try doing chocolate mint. If you have chocolate mint where you're at, uh, I ate a leaf of this when I bought it. It tastes just like a snickerdoodle. Or not snickerdoodle, thin mint. These are fantastic. I'm gonna make some good tea out of that one. Right, so moving down here, I got all of my all my pots. So I didn't really cut, color code them this year, but I got my pots here. All right, pepper, 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 pepper. Different types of peppers. Tomato, two tomatoes, two tomatoes. Something right there. I don't know what it is. I think it's a pepper. Same thing with these ones here. Got a little guy right there. A little guy, two little guys. That is for sure a tomato. Tomato. Peppers. A little teeny guy. I think that's a pepper. Pepper. Tomato. Now, what's interesting, is back this out a bit here. These ones on this side, are all small small plants these ones as you can see are uh, decent decent seedlings these ones were actually planted later in soil than these guys but these ones I had in little pre-made soil packs you just put the seed in and it has a little tray and they came up looking like that these ones are from soil that I had left over from last year and planted in little containers. These ones did not do so well. So I think from now on I'm going to buy those little soil tubes. They're about that big. <laughs> Looks like I'm making the size of a five gallon bucket. 
they're, I don't know, maybe an inch and a half tall. Maybe about, eh, baseball bat diameter around. And <clears throat> those seeds did a lot better. So that's my garden for now. All right. Like and subscribe. Those are ducks. Those are chicks over there. We put the stick in there. They don't like it. But uh, yeah, these are ducks. That's a little dork. That's uh, Gabe. I don't remember. <laughs>